who are the customers of HR? Very simple question. Who are the customers of HR? What a simple question. Here's what we often get. Most people say the customers of HR are the employees of the company, or the customers of HR are the managers of the company, or the company to help us deliver strategy. When we look at a better model of HR customers or stakeholders, here's what we find. There's a stakeholder grid. Below the line are in phenomena inside the company. And the customer is the employee, it's the line manager, it's the organization. Above the line are stakeholders outside the company. A customer, a real customer, an investor who invests money, either debt or equity, a community, where the social responsibility and the social citizenship exist, a business partner where we do collaboration. Who are the customers of HR? Increasingly, to be a business partner today, it's not a customer below the line. It's not an employee, it's not just the organization. It's a customer above the line. The customer of HR is the customer of the business. So we encourage HR professionals to spend time with real customers. Here's the line in talent. I don't want to be the employer of choice. I want to be the employer of choice of employees our customers would choose. In training, I want to make sure that the training programs we offer would be those that would create value for our customers. Performance management. I don't want to do a 360 to find out how I'm doing against those inside the company. I want to do a 720. I want to get feedback of my performance as seen by my customers. Leadership is not about leadership competencies, it's about the competencies that create a brand. Everything we do in HR inside the company can be connected to customer. Can also be connected to the investor. We've done some fascinating work about making sure that investors see the employee engagement scores because it gives them confidence in the future. Making sure that the investor is a part of succession planning because we want to promote people that will give the investor confidence. Community as an outside customer or stakeholder. Am I building my community reputation? Am I building my social responsibility, my reputation, so that others will be successful? Here's the question of number three. Who are my customers? And it's not those inside the company alone, the employees, the managers. It's a customer who buys firms from, who buys products or services. It's the investor who funds growth, and it's the community where we live and work, or it's the partners we partner with. If I'm gonna be a business partner, point number three, am I creating value for the customers above the line?